Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the most common mistakes that are made when wiring an industrial control panel or any low voltage industrial wiring in general. For more industrial wiring tips and tricks, please reference our other video which we will link in the description below. When wiring a control panel, there are so many things that must be taken into consideration that it can become easy to forget simple things that can impact the function of the panel. It is important that a process is put in place to try to help avoid these types of mistakes, but sometimes, no matter how careful you are, there seems to always be something that causes problems, and it's usually something simple. Based on experience, here are the top five most common mistakes that are made when wiring a panel. Number one, don't forget the jumper. Many times in a control panel, it is common to jumper or connect several terminal blocks together. This can be done very easily with the help of a jumper bar, which you can see right here. The problem is, often these jumper bars are hidden from plain sight or are very subtle and can go easily unnoticed. So while it might look like the panel is wired completely and correctly, it is not. This can cause all kinds of problems in the panel, ranging from power failure and signal failure, to name just a few. Trust me, I know from experience. So don't forget to double check your jumpers are installed and in the right location. Number two, check every termination. It may seem obvious, but it is very common to see issues arise because of terminals that have not been fully secured. When this happens, the wire can see intermittent continuity with the device it is wired to, which can actually be confusing when testing and operating a control panel. By ensuring that every termination point on the panel is fully secured, you will be able to avoid any troubles related to this issue. Number three, don't forget about the fuses. Again, speaking from personal experience, I can tell you that it is very common to see issues arise in a panel because fuses were never inserted into their fuse holders in the various locations throughout the panel. Much like jumper bars, fuses can easily go unnoticed because in most cases, we don't actually see the fuse. Normally, they are located in some kind of fuse holder, which looks the same whether there is a fuse in them or not. By not adding fuses where they are needed in the panel, you will most likely encounter power failure if you are using fuses to distribute power, or signal failure, or any other device that is relying on a fuse in your panel. So don't forget the fuse. Number four, when you're not sure, check polarity. When encountering issues, especially issues related to DC power, double check that the polarity of your wires is correct. It is common to see that the problem is simply that the positive and negative wires need to be switched. These types of issues are more often seen in signals because of the complexity of how they might be wired. Although not as common, it can also cause power issues as well, again especially with DC power. Number five, check the drawings. When everything seems to be wired correctly and you have gone through every possible troubleshooting technique you can think of, check your drawings. Although you would think drawings should always be correct, it is not always the case. Even factory drawings can be incorrect from time to time. So when everything seems right and your panel is still not working correctly, check to make sure that the drawings make sense. Double check the loops, termination points, and all other relevant areas you can think of on the drawings. With as complex as some electrical schematics can be, it can be very easy for drawings to have a few things that are incorrect. So again, double check the drawings. So now let's quickly review. Number one, don't forget your jumpers. They can be hard to spot, but often are critical to the function of the panel. Number two, check every termination. Make sure each termination point is secured so wires don't come loose. Number three, don't forget about the fuses. Again, they are easy to forget and can cause lots of problems. Number four, check polarity. It's as easy as switching the positive and negative wire. And lastly, number five, when all else fails, double check your drawings. For a full line of industrial control panel hardware and thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe.